In the early 2000s, a subdivision of EA Sports was made called EA Sports. This division emphasized fast, arcadey types of games. Games from basketball to football to snowboarding. I'm on a quest to review every single one. If you want to see me cover your favorite one, let me know in the comments, as long as it's an EA Sports big title. Today, we look at Def Jam Vendetta. Uh -huh. yeah. AKI, they were developers that were known for their wrestling games. WCW vs. NWO World Tour, Revenge, WrestleMania 2000, and No Mercy, just to name a few. They were working on another WCW game, but WCW went out of business, which led to EA bringing in AKI on board to make Def Jam Bandetta. Def Jam is an odd premise for a game. Hey y'all, y'all ready to kick this off the numps? I mean, you heard with me? What did he say? Hey, I got an idea. Let's just get all of these rappers like DMX, Ludacris, and Ghostface Killa and have them do fake pro wrestling? Wrestling's not fun! It's not a big deal at all, but I just find it kind of funny when the intro of the game is trying to convey this dark underground setting. Used to be, you wanted to make yourself known. You prove your worth as a street fighter or hustler. We don't fight out in the streets no more. We're organized now. We too gangster for the garden, so we've taken it underground. Meanwhile, the gameplay is like. <laughs> Why is he smearing his ass in his face? F Jam is in the same vein as the other AKI wrestling games. You have your strong grapples and your weak grapples, light strikes and heavy strikes. Use weak grapples to weaken your opponent before going for the strong ones. This is a gameplay concept for wrestling games that still holds up even to this very day. There are so many developers out there who want to capture and replicate this simple gameplay concept, but just can't do it. Ever thinking that this wrestling game will have everything oh. I've ever wanted and it'll be done. We're off. Where are we going? <coughs> oh! Hello. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the gameplay here is classic AKI wrestling with some slight tweaks. Since this is an EA Sports big title, the moves are more exaggerated and over the top, especially the finishing moves. The visuals are way better. I mean, the characters' faces are more than just a damn JPEG of a person's face. That's disgusting. Then there is this combo thing, which is pretty lame to be honest. It sounds pretty cool, but all this is, is that once you hit a specific move, you follow up with other specific moves in order to get more meter, which lets you do your finishing moves. And that's really it as far as the gameplay goes. Don't get me wrong, this is classic and it's still very fun to this day. But I'm disappointed more wasn't added to this game, and I'm even more disappointed that there are even less features than the classic N64 games. There are no weapons, there are only four match types, no backstage areas, not even any blood, and you can't even create a fighter. Thou shall have create a wrestler in a wrestling game. There, look at that. That's the 11th commandment. Every game, you should be able to create your own guy. In the story mode, you pick from these generic looking dudes who are mute in the cutscenes anyway. Wouldn't it have been cool to have your own guy go through this story? Speaking of the story mode, it's pretty damn good. You pick your guy and fight in these amateur settings making money. The main bad guy is Demox. I lay down for no man. You wanna take what's mine, you gotta beat me. But nobody ever beats me who was voiced by Kratos. Leave my home, bitch. <laughs> D-Mob is built up greatly. Not only does this giant mountain of a man with arms and legs look intimidating as all hell, he has some great lines too. Yeah, move out your $5 ass before I have to make change. 
Ooh, I have to steal that line and put it in my list of insults. The matches you play are mostly against fake people who were created for the game. The AI in this game is surprisingly difficult. Okay, so this is my first match here and... Oh my God, stop. No, Pee Wee, not the spinning toe hold. Anything but that. After some fights, you have girls fight over you. What's up, baby? You must be tense after all that fighting. Why don't I give you a rub down? Hit the road, honey. This one's taken. But your corny ass? Nah, I think he's ready for a real woman. Ain't you cutie? Come on, baby. Tell the skank what's what. You're about to get your face broken. That's what's what. <laughs> Bring it on, bitch. You choose which one you want to play as, and you unlock photos of them? She's charging you 2500 a picture? These girls were way ahead of their time. Don't waste your money, just spend it on character upgrades. You have to be a huge perv in order to buy any of this stuff. Oh, uh, ignore this. This isn't what it looks like, alright? I'm- I'm just going for 100% complete- The other unlockables are arenas, attires, and fighters. Wait, Drake's in this? I gotta go check this out. Who the hell is this? I wanted to play as Drake. You go through a set of fights before you have a big fight with an actual rapper. This is where the game is hurt the most by its lack of different match types. It's just singles match after singles match with the occasional tag team match thrown in there. The narrative in between is interesting, but some gameplay variety is desperately needed here. The difficulty ramps up once you actually fight a rapper, notably DMX. This guy just pushes your shit in. Oh my god, stop countering every damn move I do. Come on, man, get me feet. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck. Stop backing like a bitch, dog. You finally beat him, and then there's this scene which is supposedly the hardest part of the game. You get jumped three on one by this goofy ass at a netty group. Angel's not huh? gonna make it. <laughs> D-Mob sent us instead. He'd like you to drop out of Def Jam. We're here to make sure that happens. So I'm fighting these guys, but what happens here is one guy never bothered to move. So that made my life a whole lot easier. teeth again you eventually fight d mob and beat him and that's the story it's fun to play and the narrative kept my attention the lack of other variety hurts though besides story you can play a survival mode which is essentially a gauntlet of singles matches where you fight against the whole entire roster and that's that i've shown you all there is to do in this game it really feels like this game was rushed out and that's because it was EA had demands to release this game in 8 months or so, so that explains why this game is so barren. So barren, one of the features in the game on the main menu is looking at girls. Def Jam Vendetta has the strong AKI gameplay behind it, along with some great looking moves and presentation. It's crazy that this almost 20 year old game, with its limited development time and features, still dances all over these modern WWE games with their slow and boring as hell gameplay. <laughs> Look at this, look at this, woo! Come on, AJ Styles, let's go. Oh my god, this is like a whole process. Oh my fucking god. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, Braun. Oh my god, this is so boring. Come on. Damn, how many times is it gonna power bomb me? Damn. Holy shit. Yo, he's still pulling them out of the damn chamber. Come on. I'm gonna die of old age before this animation ends. Fight for New York would be the sequel and it's supposedly better, but it won't be covered in this series. <laughs> Def Jam games would end with Def Jam Icon, which is very decisive. And when I say it's very decisive, I mean everyone hated it and that game ended the series. I think Vendetta should stand on its own though, because one, the concept is just insane, and two, 
Even with the lack of features, this game still showcases why AKI wrestling games are so beloved still to this day. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this series of videos does really well and more importantly, I hope you liked it. 